morning everybody so that is our beautiful view here on the pond and we are getting our day started but I wanted to show you guys something before I uh, went ahead and got ready for the day and we take a little walk I got a really cute little gift from Laura and Fred and they are camped right down the way from us she brought me up some little slippers, sock slippers, and I actually wore these out. We had movie night last night, and I wore these, and they are comfy. Kept my toes really warm. And then a pair of PJs, and look, they've got little campers on them. Is that cute or what? And then this really cute little night shirt, merry and bright, with a camper on it. Thank you, Laura and Fred. That's really sweet. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get ready for my day, and we'll see you guys another time. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful Okay, goodbye Dory. We'll see you uh, in a few days down the road. Down the road. Down the road we'll see you. I love you. I love you too. We'll see you in a few days. Okay. Have fun in Mexico. Thank you. Alright, everybody is getting ready to head out to go to Mexico, except for us. Sure you are. Well, this was fun to be with these guys for a couple days. We will be meeting up with Carolyn and Dory and Colleen, our dancing queen. Oh, and a few other people down at uh, Long Term Visitor Cent uh, Area, which is where we're all going to meet back up at. And I think we have some other people coming in uh, uh, later on this afternoon. Well, we are gonna go take a little walk, and this is the re this is the end of the tribe right there. <laughs> That's all we got left. <laughs> filming. I'm filming. Hold on, let me help you. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Such a mean sister. Such a mean sister. That's not... Oh, they have an outhouse. Oh, yeah, go check it out. Go check it out. I'm not. I think that's where, I, I, there's one back this way, from what I can see. Uh, Pretty. There. I see it's there. always a lot of yellow in the desert. Oh. Alright, we're trying to get to that little uh, water area that you guys could see when Scotty had the drone up. Um, so here's where we're at, right here. And then it looks like probably somewhere on the other side of those bushes there, there should be some more water out there. So that's where we're walking to. Come on, baby. I'll sacrifice my life for you. Come on. Why? What's down there? You saw, you heard something scary down here the other day. When I walked down it. No, I didn't say it. There was just something in the bushes. That something was, kind of freaked yeah. Scotty out down here the other day. Um, there are coyotes. Coyotes. There's coyotes and mountain lions. So you do have to be careful. And I think it's too cold for the, for the snakes, don't you think? If I was a snake, they would be a great day to be out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Aja, <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you somehow today. She's always getting me, always scaring me. Is it like just now turning fall down It's here? the golden bush. 
It's so beautiful. Yes, it's so this gorgeous. Yes. This is gorgeous. It's beautiful. <laughs> Well, so th so this is not cool. Ah, look at all the garbage. This is a shame. Look at this is like a really beautiful little area, and then this is going on. Gross. So disgusting. Yeah, except that people have trashed it out. Yeah. Oh. That would be killer. Make this like a little base camp. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, so that's what I was seeing was the wide part of the river then. Do what? It doesn't seem very wide right here though. Well, when I was up above it, that's there was it. like two we spots seeing. where I could actually see water, you know, that was, that looked like ponds, but. I was starting to see it's moving now. Well, they obviously were living back here, I would think, maybe. Because they could go right down there and take a bath. Ooh, seems Ugh. like an alligator from over there. <laughs> I don't think know. they have alligator in Arizona. Pretty sure they don't. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is why you only make it four miles. Would you get your muff controlled, please? She's always sticking something in my ear. <laughs> or, or a muff. <laughs> you need a TV? There's a TV right there. Oh, I yeah. That. I don't know if you can get it working again. Like, yeah. why? What? I don't understand it. I don't know. Obviously, this is all built up. Cause I got big rocks. I don't. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, it is built up with um, something. So maybe they yeah. found that TV in the Somebody build Somebody up. Had a party back here. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And said, "I'll kill my TV." Oh, it's so bad. I can imagine back there. Another way down. I don't think it, I think it ends. Oh, it does end, but there's another way down to the river. That's Be careful um, where you step. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know where I they've... I haven't seen any needles or anything. No, but there's right. toilet paper and... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a cute little place if it wasn't so garbaged out. Oh, there's another one. Oh. What a shame. Yeah. Well, another... Um part of the river that Now that's a nice awning. Look at that. That would be perfect to have down off the front side so you can have some shade from the sun on the front. Very nice. That's a citation. So we're just walking the opposite way. Aja has not walked around the lake yet, so we're gonna walk with her. Hi, guys. How you doing? <laughs> Beautiful Pretty day, little huh? Collie. Hi, Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Why you gotta go out and do the walk? <laughs> I'm gonna film. Up, spin the tire and hit it with the paintbrush. Yeah, there you perfect. go. That's how you make white wheel. What is it? White walls. That's how you make white walls. <laughs> <laughs> What do they call, I forget what they call them. All right, we have a question for you guys. <laughs> yes. What, what is, is that this? Air, air conditioner or is it both? Heat, yeah, it's a heat pump. It's an air conditioner, uh, heater, a furnace, dehumidifier, and a whole house fan. Wow. Wow. And it runs directly off of solar. Oh, wow. That is it's, sweet. Wow. I can also run it at night on my batteries all night. Wow. Because, uh. The inside unit is in our queen size bed area, and so we uh, uh, put our curtain around the queen size bed. And the only part that has to be cooled or heated at night is just a 60 by 80 by about four and a half foot tall area. So, wow. so I can run that directly on 
my my battery. I have 750 amp hours of batteries, and I can run quick fast batteries all night. That is perfect. Oh, we've got oh. some table movement here. <laughs> That is the yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He's taking sure off. Air conditioner or both, but all, uh, all yeah. I, I put a uh, uh, I you know we run it through the inverter, but I put a, uh, a watt meter on it, and then to on high is only 340 amp or 340 watts on high. That's that's well, hardly anything. As opposed to a rooftop air conditioner, which is about 1700 watts. Right. 1600 wow. watts. Yeah, so and then you just sweet. built the stand yeah. for this it. This is a 24.4 sear heat right, pump. Okay, so what sear is, is you get 24.4 BTUs oh, per oh. watt that you that you use. So if you figure out, you know, this is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, divide that by the 24.4, and that's how many watts that it takes to run it. Wow. So, do you mind it's me a, asking you how much you paid for something like that? Uh, well, you can get them for as low as 700 I paid 12 for that because I wanted the higher efficiency. The higher efficiency, then the less, uh, the less watts it, it takes to run it. Now, fun. after it cools down, okay, or heats up, whichever the, the, the temperature, and it's got a remote, and so wherever the, it's got to follow me, so wherever the remote is, that's the thermostat. So oh. you just, in, at night we just keep the, th the thermostat in our bed area, okay. And during the day we can have it out in the in the other part. But uh, uh, once it reaches temperature, and then all it has to do is maintain a temperature, okay. It's much less than 340 watts. It's uh, you know down under 200 watts then. Wow. Yeah, it's less than 200 watts uh, just maintaining a temperature. And it's both ways, hot, cold, yeah. hot, cold. Yeah, and it's a dehumidifier as well. Yeah, that's great. And a whole house fan, and so if you turn it on, it'll just circulate the air in there, or you can put it on dehumidifier, and it'll maintain the temperature and still take all the moisture out. So, it, uh, yeah, it's got four functions on it. So. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, thank you. Yes, thank Appreciate you so that. much. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it recirculates Don't through a, a, a filter. Your shower does. Yes. So yeah. you were saying that you can so run So the it. idea is, you know, bath, you set it in a bath water, you know, it's dirty. Yeah. You know, but if you recirculate the shower water through some, through a one micron filter, it's cleaner than drinking water. Okay. And, and so that's a, it's got a separate okay. pump. And so what I do is, um, is it's filled up with stuff. I, I added a 10 gallon tank in there. So whenever we use one gallon of water for our shower, it goes into a separate 10 gallon tank that then I can use to flush our toilet with. So our 50 gallon fresh water tank is only for showers. Right. You know, we use bottled water for right. drinking. And stuff. Right. Wow, that's that's a great and idea. So you can stay out for a couple of months. Hey. You know, without needing to dump yeah. your tanks and stuff. Right. Because like you're. We have a macerating electric toilet, and so our black water and our gray water tanks are both one tank now. So okay, right on. 80 gallons of black water tank, and the, and the macerated toilet only uses 0.2 gallons per flush. So with 80 gallons, you're talking uh, 400 flushes. You wow, that's really good, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Terry. Hi, David. Hi, David. Nice. Thank you for giving these guys some information. Uh, Appreciate yeah, it. I've done all kinds. Of <laughs> well, that's, thank you for letting us surface. invade as we walk that's by. Just skimming the surface. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Bye, y'all. Bye. Destination. Open, Open road. road. That is a dried up salamander. He's uh he's not doing too well. Poor little thing. Oh, it's fake. It's a <laughs> it's like somebody's um little toy. How funny is that? Yep, that's what it is. It's it's like a little rubbery thing. I'm going to get Aja with it. Well, I got her back, but I didn't get it on camera. 
It did scare you, though. I thought it was real for a second. Yeah, I did too when I was sitting there poking at it. Fishing going today. Uh, catch and release. <laughs> That's our friend Fred over there. He's, uh, what are you catching? Catfish, bluegill, bass. And you, have you caught anything today? We caught a couple bluegill. Oh. Fish. Right on. Very cool. The birds are having more luck though. Are they? <laughs> the, the birds are the ones throwing the finger at us. <laughs> and they don't have a permit. Ooh, exactly. <laughs> and they roll by way in their, in their feet like that and just, you know, laughing at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're I still over here down. visiting with uh, Fred and Laura. Texas, and we stopped at this little... Uh, Fred and Laura are uh, some of our subscribers and friends. And I found one of those bells. And it's Laura's birthday. Laura, happy birthday. Thank you. Birthday, Mom. Thank you. I'm not sure if you guys are focused here. Get my glasses on. Yeah. I hear it. Get away. It's still there. It's a little blue. Oh, he had one, but it got away. All right, guys, we are going to go back down to that area that we were uh, just at, and we're going to go down and pick up some garbage. I I keep thinking about that area, but I want to share something with you guys before I put my other shoes on, because I had my sandals on, and that area was so dirty. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, tennis shoes on. Now, these have been in a closet. I don't think there's any way for any spiders or anything to get into my area here, but you never know. So I'm going to kind of go out there and shake my shoes. I've been told when you live in areas like this that have spiders and tarantulas and all kinds of things that you always want to kind of check your inside your shoes before you just slip your feet in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Just a little uh, FYI. Look at me. I'm like a bag leg. Look. I got my bag. I got my camera. I'm gonna go pick up some trash. Thank you, Tim for coming down and helping Scotty and I and look at that you guys we're gonna have to leave some of the big stuff because that TV is really that glass in there is horribly heavy but we were able to get all of that Tim's got stuff over there and we've got a bag over here so what did that take us five minutes and we have an empty dumpster over here. Might so. be a little longer than five minutes, but it nah. sure didn't take long to pick that up. So if you uh, get a chance and you 
see something that needs to be picked up, please just do it so we all can live in a clean place.